Hi, this is Dr. Kalsa, and this is part three of my series about your digestion. If you missed the earlier videos, you can find them on my website or on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be discussing reflux, heartburn, and ulcers. These are all caused by the strong acid of the stomach irritating or burning the lining of the stomach or other areas. There are many over-the-counter and prescription medications that treat these symptoms. All of them work to neutralize this strong acid so that it does less damage. But we need this strong acid to digest our food. So by treating the symptoms, we are weakening our ability to break down our food into its essential nutrients. And of course, these products do nothing to get to the root of the problem. I have made a list below this video of suggestions on how you can naturally improve your digestion. Our stomach is unique in that it produces an acid that can burn through any tissue in our body. The only reason it doesn't burn us is that the stomach also produces a layer of mucus that protects the stomach lining and keeps the stomach acid from burning holes in our organs. But this highly acidic environment is what is necessary to break down protein. Without this acid, we would not be able to properly digest any protein. This is one of the miracles of our body. This thin layer of mucus has been protecting us from the burning acid for millions of years. But if the body is not in balance, it's easy to see how this protection can break down. The first stage is what is called gastritis, or inflammation of the stomach. The primary cause of this is stress. Your stomach is one of the most sensitive organs to your emotional stress. We all know the cliche of the high-powered executive who's drinking Maalox or some other antacid to get through their day. There are some foods and drinks that really irritate the stomach. Alcohol is the worst, hands down. Remember that you can use alcohol to remove grease from your clothes. That mucus in your stomach is not that different from the grease. Spicy food can irritate an already sensitive stomach, but in my experience, it is not the cause. In fact, when your digestive system is in balance, spicy food is very stimulating and healthy. But if you're having this symptom, avoid spicy food to reduce the symptoms. Another stress to the stomach can be bread and dairy products. Even though in the short term, these can alleviate the symptoms, they can increase stomach inflammation. If this gastritis continues, then the mucus lining can get thin enough that an actual hole is burned into the stomach lining an ulcer. Imagine if you had a rash on your arms. This would be like having gastritis. The skin rash can get so inflamed that it causes bleeding. This is like having an ulcer. But your body has the ability to heal itself if you address the underlying causes, stress and diet. These ulcers can heal. At the entrance to the stomach is a valve which keeps the acid from going up your esophagus. Stress can really upset the balance with this valve and the stomach acid can move up your esophagus and can even spill over into the voice box and the lungs. This is called reflux. Neutralizing the acid will reduce the symptoms, as I said before, but it interferes with your protein digestion and metabolism and does not get to the root of the problem. Getting regular adjustments is essential for a healthy stomach. This allows your nervous system to coordinate the production of mucus with the presence of the stomach acid so that there is enough to digest the protein and not too much to cause other problems. This completes my series on digestion. In my next video, I will discuss the glandular system and how it affects every cell and organ in your body. If you have any questions about this topic or any other health challenges, 
give us a call at 626-345-9750. If you would like to get future videos, click the like button if you're on Facebook, or subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, or enter your email address if you're on my website. Until next time, this is Dr. Santok Khalsa, and my prayer is that you and your family stay healthy and strong.